Smith and I'm a certified personal trainer and nutritionist and today I have a no equipment kickboxing martial arts hybrid cardio workout. So the workout begins with a warm up. We'll do the workout itself which is a series of combination uh, combinations for kickboxing as well as martial arts inspired moves. And then it ends with a cool down. So if you haven't already Please subscribe to my channel, and if you'd like to help contribute, you can go to my channel page, and in the about, there's a link for donations. And I also have a spirit lifter to share with you before we begin. It says, A soft answer turneth away wrath, but grievous words stir up anger. And I like this, because when someone says something hateful, or uh, gives us a criticism, usually we want to lash back out at them, or put them in their place. And that only um, exasperates the situation and makes them turn back with firepower as well. And so this is something uh, that I've learned about in time. Uh, I used to have a boss that was very critical and they would tell me to do something and I would do it and then they'd still fuss at me. Like for instance, um, they would tell me to arrange things on the fitness floor or to like organize them. I would go do that in my free time. And then they would tell me that I do that uh, too often. But if I didn't do it, then I'd still get fussed at um, for not doing it enough. And there were other things too, like um, they called me out during a meeting in front of everybody. Uh, I would always come in for to help other people. And uh, I didn't want to on Christmas Eve because I wanted to spend it with my son and at, I wasn't scheduled that day also and they called me out for it in the meeting. And the first time that they really criticized me and they like yelled at me uh, in front of everyone, I told them I thought that they were being very critical and uh, you know, asked them not to speak to me that way. and. Then my situation got worse, but I started to tell myself that perhaps they were not trying to be critical and maybe that I was just being too sensitive and not to let it affect me. And with time, um, when they would criticize me, I'd just say, okay, great, thanks, and move forward. And they'd have nothing left to say after that. And it solved so many of my problems. And it helped in many other circumstances in my life too. Uh, when, you know, someone has said something nasty to me, instead of telling them that they're wrong, or uh, saying something back, I just go, okay. And I saved myself so much peace. It's great. So with that being said, we can begin our workout. The first part of the warm up are horse stance arm lifts. And these are going to wake up the leg muscles. It's going to wake up the core muscles because when you're in our in the horse stance, it's going to challenge the core because it's not like standing upright. It's not the easiest way to balance. And then with the arm movements, it's going to stretch all of the upper body. So first we begin in our horse stance and you're going to first bring your back of your wrist together above your head for five. Now we're going to do the same thing, palms together. The last set is a rotation. So you're going to rotate your hands as you go down. The next and last part of the womp is for the lower body and it's going to stretch the hip flexor and it's going to stretch the hamstring, hamstrings and it's going to challenge your balance. So it is a yoga transition or combination and we'll be doing a dancer to a heel stretch. So you begin with your dancer and then you're going to bring your foot forward to a heel stretch and we're going to do that three times on each side.
ready to begin. So the first thing that we have are an elbow, four blocks, and a round kick. So you begin with your elbow, four blocks, round kick. So we're going to do that five times and then switch. Then we're on to our next combination, which is going to be elbow, knee, side kick. Elbow, knee, side kick. So we're going to do that six times and switch. Next thing that we have is round kick, hook, uppercut, front kick, back kick. So, round kick, hook, uppercut, I have to turn, front kick, and back kick. The screen is behind me, about like a foot and a half, and my leg is longer than a foot and a half, and if I kick it, it'll come down. So we're going to do that five times per side. Oh, I forgot my round kick. to our next movement which is a horse stance with pivot punches. So instead of having our boxer hands, they're going to be beside us. You get into horse stance, you're going to pivot into a lunge and punch. We're going to alternate sides for 12. side.
thing as a warrior one with pushing palm strikes. So you get into warrior one, hands at your side, push, palm strike. So we're going to do 10 and then switch. stretches. The first thing that we have is a prayer and lean. This is going to stretch along the side of the body and the shoulders. So put your hands in prayer and then you're going to push up and lean to each side, alternating for eight. stretch and then a hamstring stretch. So you're going to kneel, grab your ankle or foot for your quad stretch, drop down, hamstring stretch. We're going to do that three times per leg. concludes our cardio kickboxing and martial arts inspired workout. I hope you enjoyed it. Please check out more of my other videos on YouTube on Wellness by Elizabeth and like, subscribe, and share.